One, two, three, clap. I miss doing the claps. You do them now anyway, it doesn't matter. Hi, and welcome to Hey Buddy Nice Podcast. Over there in Scotland, give me the weather updates that I deserve. That's Brogan Hastings. And not giving me any up weather updates because he's not been outside. That's Wayne Jovanati. Yeah, I don't know what you expect from me. It's like, if I don't <laughs> leave the house, how can I know what the weather is going to be like? Sure, there's the internet, and that will you tell have me. A but you've got the internet. I, let me tell you a little secret about my windows. One... They have furnishings over them. They have curtains. Mm -hmm. Two, the windows in the bedroom not just have curtains. They've got, like, boards over them so no light can get in whatsoever. <laughs> not only that, it's got boards and then there's, like, this blackout fabric that we put up, which is, like, on the fly screen. And then it's just got normal curtains as well. So Absolutely no not light. excessive whatsoever. Mm. Uh, I'll have to um, uh, put pictures up on the socials of that just 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 so people know what i'm talking about but also now there's been so many changes that the outside of the bedroom there wouldn't be any light anyway because it's basically undercover like the, it's, we're enclosed it's yeah it's not a house we I'm, i live in a i live in a hole basically fair enough yeah um right so uh snowing hey yeah, we had a little bit of snow. It's pretty much gone now. Yeah, there is no snow left outside. Okay. I, but was, I was I was worried you were going to look out the window and continue talking, not into the microphone. <laughs> no, uh, learn my lesson on that. Mm. The the snow is gone, thankfully. Uh, uh, what? There there are, there were reports of us getting a blizzard, uh, like w like we had a yeah. couple of years ago, where the country essentially shut down for two days. Mm. Uh, which would have been really annoying because if that happened when I was supposed to leave on my flight, I would not be a happy bunny. When you showed me the snow on your um, uh, backyard, I guess. The back garden, yes. Back, yeah, backyard, backyard. Mm -hmm. um, when it was later on that day, I was like, I'm going to check to see what the weather <laughs> is going to be next week. <laughs> yeah. 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 We're not forecast for anything bad. No, I think it so said far. maybe some rain or something. Yeah. Although my grandpa seems to think that the weather's going to be bad because he did say, tell your mum, eh, <laughs> tell your mum if the weather's bad tomorrow, she's not to come. And I'm like, That's it's if sunny. it's bad. <laughs> maybe he just wants it to be bad. Maybe he doesn't want to see your mum. <laughs> that's funny. That's what my mum said. She's like, no. oh, he's always trying to get us out coming over. Too, too bad. Too bad. We're coming to yep. see him. So when you, when you go, do you just go by yourself usually? I usually just go by myself, yeah. Yeah, because you can only deal with so much family at one time. <laughs> Officially or unofficially. <laughs> uh, I like to think, if anything, we are nothing but honest on this podcast. Yeah. It, to be honest, that's not really re the reason. We try and spread out visits so that he's yeah. got at least one person, you know. That makes more sense. Yeah. So I'll go one week, Mitchell will go the next. Hmm. Yeah. Plus, if we go too often, we don't have any chat for him. We've got yeah. nothing to tell him. I mean, my last three visits have been, are you excited for Vegas? Yes, I'm excited mm. for Vegas. When are you going to Mexico? I'm not going to Mexico, Grandpa. Uh, I'm going to Texas. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah. I mean, clearly, um, being the avid listener of Hey Buddy Nice podcast that he is, he already knows everything that's going on in your life. Absolutely. So, Absolutely. Yeah. Um, one of my, one, a show that I like to watch just for the stupidity of it is... Um, I can't remember what it's called. Uh, <laughs> 911 something. Reno 911? No, no, no. 911. Oh, right. It's like a CBS terrible show. Um, is it Firefighters? About... Yeah, Firefighters. Is, is uh, Rob Lowe in it? Rob Lowe is in this one. I, I, I keep one, seeing that coming up on my, twi my TikTok. I'm a bit of a sucker for Rob Lowe as it is. Mm -hmm. um, but two, it, it's, it's all stupid shit. Yeah. And I, I think it's Penn, and I was thinking this when I was watching this, pit no, it wasn't this, it was a different show, but so how he says it, it's just porn, pornography, but for violence. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's all these shows are. But it's always these astronomical, uh, no way going to happen events, right? Yeah. Uh, that are stupid. But this is set in Austin. And all this shit's <laughs> happening. I'm watching like three episodes today, um, mm -hmm. catching up now that Kez is back. And I'm like, remind me why we're going to Austin again. <laughs> it's like, yeah. For Schwood oh, and maybe no Rob other Lowe reason. Be... Oh, yeah. Schwood and Jury. I was about to say, maybe Rob Lowe will be there. 
Maybe. You never know. Yeah. I don't know if it's filmed on location. It would probably be filmed in LA, I imagine. Yeah. But mm. do you know what? It's funny you mention that, because, like, sort of guilty pleasure watching. Because, and now I don't watch this, but I do, I watch it through TikTok, if that makes sense. Yeah. Like, I'll scroll through yeah. looking for the separate parts. Yeah. I quite like Young Sheldon. I mm. hate... I hate yeah. the Big Bang Theory. There is only one redeeming feature of the Big Bang Theory, and that is Amy's dad, because it's Taylor, of course. <laughs> yeah. uh, and we've said before, we've said it before, Amy's mum. Oh, and Amy's mum. Yeah. Wow, wow. Fucking misery. Why am I What's her name? blanking on the name? Oh, my God. <laughs> Kathy Bates. Kathy Bates, yes. Kathy Bates, yeah. yeah. There you so go. Amy's parents are mm. the only redeeming feature of that show. But what I've noticed, I... I really like the clips I see of Young Sheldon. There is no yeah. laugh track. It is written. Yeah, it's not a sitcom. It's not a multi-camera sitcom. No. It's a single camera. Yeah. And, you know, there's a storyline where Sheldon's older brother, Georgie, has accidentally gotten this 29-year-old weather girl pregnant. Right? Oh, God. Uh, How old is he meant to be in the show now? What the fuck? He's 17. Fuck? He's 17, but he he lied. He told her he was 27. Mm-hmm. So, but <laughs> but their relationship, Georgie's and Mandy's relationship, is actually really, really cute, and I really okay. like them. Okay, and he's just so happy and proud and to be a dad, and it's just really cute. I really like it. Okay. So when when Young Show, I I yeah, I was hating Big Bang Theory by the mm-hmm. end, but I committed, so just get through it. And with Teller in the last season, gave gave an excuse. Yeah. Then started Young Sheldon, infinitely better than Big Bang Theory. I yeah. actually enjoyed it. Mm-hmm. Uh, my one thing I hated the most, like I, I fell off of it because it it started to get a bit eh, to me. Mm. Um, but the one thing I hated that that let the show down was Jim Parsons talking. Yes, doing yes. the voice of it, and that that that's what ruins it. I yeah, a lot of the clips, most like looking back, a lot of the clips that I see in the thing they mm. don't have the narration on them yeah yeah <laughs> but like all the characters in it are just like uh Mimo, who's just great yeah well it's um oh god i'm so bad with names <laughs> lately but you know irma from ghostbusters oh my god so it is a new recognized yeah. her mm. oh shit yeah yeah what's her bloody name i know it i do but it's just mm-hmm. not in my head right yeah. now yeah and too I like much the other pl- shit yeah, I like the guy that plays Sheldon's dad as well. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. know, he's he just uh, really sweet. And his sweet. sister is, as well is... Mm-hmm. Yeah, permissive. Yeah, hilarious. Yeah. Yeah. But it's, a, it's actually a really good show. I don't think it's ever one that if I seen an episode on, I would put it on. Mm. But I would 100% watch YouTube compilations. Yeah, yeah. That, that seems, <laughs> seems valid. That's, that's which valid. is better than I can say for Big Bang Theory, which is where are the... Re- the compilations of Amy's parents and only <laughs> Amy's parents. I have well, videos that I've liked. That's just an episode. Are... It's a couple of episodes. That's it. Exactly. I have like TikToks that I've saved. That is literally. Mm. I have saved it purely because it's a uh, teller walking Amy down the aisle. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, look at him in his little tux. <laughs> He's so cute. Uh, uh, so like, all right, Jim Parsons voiceover letting the show down. Mm-hmm. In that same vein. I watched the latest and final Super Mario Brothers movie trailer, uh-huh. right? And the whole Nintendo Direct for it. And the cast. They had the cast on the Nintendo Direct, right? And Crispy Rat was there as well. And oh my fucking God, if he put as much enthusiasm as he did into what sounds terrible as Mario in the movie as he did in this stupid fucking white background video of him just talking as himself promoting the movie, maybe it would be okay. He's just not... A good actor. He has... He's being directed. He's being directed, so... Uh. It, it was just a poor... He was picked for his name. He was oh, picked yeah. I imagine to have so. a name. Which yeah. is a stupid, stupid thing, because the cast is already full of big names who are good at their jobs. Mm. Fucking Jack yeah. Black. Yeah. You know, Keegan-Michael... Is it Keegan, yeah, Keegan-Michael Keegan- Key? Yeah. yeah. Yep. Uh, uh, guy who plays Luigi. <laughs> Yeah, um, like all of them. They're just, mm. you know, they could have cast an unknown as Mario. They should have cast an unknown as Mario. Do you know what? They should have cast Pedro Pascal as Mario. God damn it. You heard it here first. Pedro Pascal in everything, please. Yes. I I, I don't care. That's, yep. I'll, I'll take it. I'm yep. fully in on Pedro Pascal. 
mm-hmm. fully in. Yeah, because honestly, um, that having Chris Crispy Rat as a uh, Mario is the only thing that's putting me off that movie. I really yep. don't want to see it specifically for that. And the quicker somebody it can come out and somebody can dub over it mm. and release it on YouTube, yep. the better. <laughs> Oh, uh, is, is it a Simpsons bit? I was going to do this. I can't remember exactly what it is. Like, I said from the beginning, it should be Bob Hoskins. And then it's like, <laughs> we've told you before, Bob Hoskins is dead. <laughs> but it, well, of course, it was whoever that was suggesting, not Bob Hoskins. But, uh-huh. you know, should be Bob Hoskins, but Bob Hoskins is dead. Because Bob Hoskins was in the live action Mario yeah. movie for yeah. those playing it. Up. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> I just, so, some people might be a lot younger. That's all. I don't know. That's true. Yeah, well, I wasn't allowed to see that movie in the theater because it was possibly scary. I mean, I I haven't actually ever seen the movie. I've only ever seen <sighs> stills. Yeah. And no, like, you have to watch it. But yeah, I think it's, it's not it's great. Got to be, no, neither is Spawn, no. but I still enjoyed that. Well, the, okay, Spawn wasn't great. Saving Grace, John Leguizamo, yeah. Yep, and Super the Mario soundtrack. Brothers movie, and the soundtrack. Yeah, Super Mario Brothers. Well, yeah, Super Mario Brothers movie, not great. John Leguizamo It's John the Leguizamo soundtrack. in it. He is Luigi. Oh, shit. Some Bob Hoskins Mario. Oh, oh, yes. Yeah. I, yeah. No, I thought you made the uh, the new Luigi, and I was like, what? No, no, no. He no, is the live action. Yeah. I was going to say, no. I was like, I didn't see that in any of the posters. No, so it's like no. Spawn. So there's a saving grace to the live action movie. I mean, there's some weird yeah. shit, but it's, it's, not, it's not terrible. Yeah. Look, I say that I wasn't allowed to see it in the theatre, but I actually don't think that's factually true because I don't think I was aware of the movie until I was in a a, a video store, rental store, mm-hmm. non-name brand. It wasn't a blockbuster or nothing. And there was yep. a big poster, like a big one of those cutout displays with the giant M yeah. like with made out of steel beans with rivets in it and stuff. Uh, but yeah, it's a it's worth a watch. You got to watch it once. You, uh, what is it? I can't even remember. The, Trust in the fungus. You have to, you know. Yep. I don't remember. It's, is it's, that from the movie? The, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's um, yeah, not 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 the, not the Last of Us with Pedro Pascal. Um, no. that's bad fungus. Okay. Uh, yeah, but they they were fully setting it up the end of the movie for a second one. Mm-hmm. Well, you know, could have. They always but, do. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but uh, I don't know if that's where Princess Daisy came from because it's not. Um, um. So, well, Peach wasn't named then either. It was just the princess, and maybe they thought, well, let's give the princess name Daisy, and then they had, had co-opted that to another character in the Mario world. Oh, a bit I like don't know. Yeah. a bit like um, how Harley Quinn originated on Batman the animated series rather than in the comics. Yes, but uh, that would be if uh, Harley Quinn was already um, referred to as something in the world of Batman comics as, like, Clown Lady, and then they gave right, her a name. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. All right. yeah. Mm. I'm just... I I know that you could see me, like, look... <laughs> I'm bringing up my iPad to see if I can see what films will be on, or what entertainment will be on the flight to Vegas. Oh, really? Because we're at that stage now. Yeah. Uh, well, and I'll, I'll be seeing open the Mario like, movie in Vegas, not on the flight. I'll be seeing it in yeah. Vegas, I imagine, or LA, wherever I am. Mm-hmm. Uh, Come on, why, why are you looking at on-flight entertainment? You're going to have your iPad just loaded up with your own entertainment. I've, I'm looking because sometimes I... Well, because even last year, the one that I wanted to watch but just couldn't bring myself to because I just... I have to be in the mood to watch films was The Suicide Squad. Mm. And I have still to watch that and I really, really want to. That's the second one, yeah, because the first one was Suicide Squad. Specifically, The Suicide... The one with the shark man. The second one. The one with uh, Nathan Fillion and John Cena. Yes. Yes. Yeah. And Idris. Is Idris in it? Yes. Yeah. Idris replaces Will Smith. Not actual character playing wise, but similar role. Okay. Uh, but what I will say, I'm just looking through and there is a movie now. I mean, I've, I've seen this and I know that uh, I, I've been told not to watch this. Don't worry, darling. Mm, I say watch it. Okay. Um... And I'll watch There's, it and we can discuss it. <laughs> there is a, a film called Honk for Jesus, Save Your Soul. There better be a goose in that movie. In the aftermath of a huge sa- scandal, the proud first lady of a Southern Baptist church and her pastor husband attempt to rebuild their nearly non-existent congregation, making the biggest oh comeback God. that commodified religion has ever seen. Now, oh it's, marked as, it's marked as a comedy and yeah. it's... 
uh, Regina Hall and Sterling K. Brown. Now, I think Sterling, Sterling K. Brown. Sterling K. Brown. Oh, yeah, yeah. I know Sterling K. Brown. Yep. It's, it's he who I'm thinking of and that he was in that one episode of Brooklyn Nine-Nine where he was the dentist. Mm, that maybe? Jake made confess. Uh, I don't know. Still, I'll look him up. I think he's from um, the show um, where I learned about him. It was uh, the OJ Simpson trial show. Oh, I wasn't thinking that uh, one. I think. Yeah, I think. And then This Is Us. I think he was this in is that us. anyway. I think This yeah, Is Us is what that. I'm thinking of. And I'm pretty sure it was in the OJ Simpson trial thingy, whatever it was, whatever it was called. Yeah. I'm 99% Oops. sure that he is who I'm thinking of. Yeah. But... And I was going to say This Is Us, but I forgot what it was called. So, of course, I was mm. like, you know, the one dentist who killed that guy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but tele- like uh, preacher, televangelist, people, whatever. I saw a thing today yeah. that someone, lady was saying that, like televangelist lady or whatever, was saying that <sighs> aliens came down, impersonated her husband, attempted to make her have sex with them. So give me money. And I, mean, I know there's extra details that I've forgotten. <laughs> Probably for the better. Mm. But it, it's funny you mentioned that, though, because I, just, just as background noise, I put on, I've had bullshit running in the background. Uh, yes. I yep, started yep. bullshit again. And uh, that was one of the last episodes I seen was the, mm. the alien convention people. Yeah. For like, wow. And that's not at the people, <laughs> that's at the scientists who are charging like hundreds and thousands of dollars for their... Uh, talks. So the way that Penn would put it, so when when you're saying these scientists, you're meaning uh, these assholes. Yeah, these motherfuckers. Hey, buddy, nice podcast. <laughs> oh, hi. Penn. Had to play the drop. Uh, yeah, I think bullshit's a hard watch nowadays for me. Um, it definitely. I am watching pure. I mean, I know that there's a lot on there that doesn't hold up now. Specifically, mm. one of the ones is. Now, it's not an episode on climate change. It's an episode... It's the episode on environment stuff. Mm, yeah, and yeah. Where, where they're talking about recycling and stuff? I don't think it was recycling. But it was... It was essentially they were looking at these people who were like... I don't know, really... I don't know what the word is, but like fear-mongering. Like panic uh, and... Like doomsday preppers? Yeah, like doomsday preppers, but environments, you know, where these people are like, you know, in 50 years... You know... But mm. they didn't understand what they were saying. It's the okay. one where they got somebody to go around to, to had a petition to ban this chemical. Secret, yeah. the chemical is water. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, what were they calling it? Because uh, it's hi- uh, hydrogen monoxide. No, hydrogen di- dioxide. Dihydrogen mono- monoxide. Yeah, dihydrogen, dihydrogen monoxide. monoxide. Yeah. Yeah. Like, what if I told you that this chemical was in blah 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 blah? And it's like, whoa, should be yeah. banned and that shit. Yeah, but that one's a bit of a hard watch because you're like, well, mm. uh, it's maybe a bit of an issue. Maybe not yeah. as bad as they're making out then, but, you know. But I think, but it's, yeah, certainly the uh, the feng shui one was a weird one to watch. Yeah, yeah. Because I I believe, no, let me, let me finish my sentence before I say any of this. this before is to I jump down your throat. Before you jump down my throat, before the listeners turn off, let me finish my sentence. I believe in feng shui, but a different kind of feng shui than what they were selling, right? I fully believe in moving about the furniture in my room it makes me feel better. That is a that, proven fact. That's not feng shui. That is enjoying moving your shit around and having something different. I think that's maybe what it is, yeah. But I've, I've, I think because I do it so often that people have, re- like, people have referred to it as me doing feng shui. Yeah. And, Do you have or, a mirror or, facing the door? No, I don't. <laughs> Is that by choice? Uh, I don't have a mirror in my room. That's fine then. Yeah. It's acceptable. Yeah. I mean, but, I think because people refer to it as my feng shui thing, so I refer to it as my feng shui thing. Okay. So I was like, All right. uh, I All kind right. of believe in the power of moving your furniture okay. around, but I don't believe it's a science. But it's like say, it's like trying to give, uh, what's her face? Marie Kondo, does this bring you joy? Trying to label that as something, you know? It's, yeah, it's as not, a science, a, you just can. Yeah, no. I but, like see, Marie Kondo. I've never met her. <laughs> so I, I liked know. her series because okay. I think, and I think she got a bad rap because people you liked the idea of her. I do. I like, and and the whole thing that she was preaching was never 
this is too much stuff, get rid of your stuff. Mm. It's, do you have this because you want this or do you have this because it's here? You know, do, do you have, do you get joy from having this in your house? If not, well, why the fuck are you keeping it? And she was a lot nicer than that. i tell you a little secret. Um, if Marie Kondo asked me that question, I would have nothing in my fucking house. <laughs> Like take take that in, into consideration, Marie Kondo, please. Yeah, it's. <laughs> I'm being I'm being sincere. I would have one or two things, and that I, is it. I'm and then of... I would I would think hard about the question she's asking. You right? You know, actually, no, nothing does. All of it brings so. me joy, Marie. That's the problem. Yeah. So you're the other end of the scale. <laughs> I completely the other end of the scale. I mean, yeah. look at. The, I mean, are you telling me that you wouldn't save this kind of thing? Which is me gesturing the to my pen and teller the shelf. shelf. Uh, look, when it comes down to asking me about does it... I, I was trying... Do pen and I, teller I was, bring you joy? I was trying to um, understand the wheel of feel, right? Okay. There, is some, there are some colors on there that just do not make sense to me. Mm-hmm. I was getting so ingrained in looking at this and not being able to get past from happy to to joy i didn't even realize there was a third ring on the wheel that i could <laughs> because i could not identify from step one to step two on wow. some of these things so mostly the positive ones we're a bit messed up aren't we mm, a bit. <gasps> double octopus double octopus <laughs> wayne has this- a new uh, happy sad octopus Moody octopus moody octopus that's the word now the question is is this is it is it two octopi or is it four? Because they, they, it turns inside out. No, it must be two. I always assume that it's one octopus with two personalities. Yeah. I think because at no point in time can you have three or four octopi. Yeah, there, that's There will right. only you ever be only two. two. So you see this guy, right? You know why he's angry and sad right now? Why? Because he is aware that uh, he does not bring me joy. <laughs> and <laughs> goodbye. And, and you see this guy? You see why this, this, this orange one, why is all happy? Mm-hmm. Because he's just a dummy. He doesn't know any better. <laughs> he's such a dummy. Such a stupid octopus. So you've got that. I feel like I should have... I mean, I say that like I don't have enough shit in this room. Uh, yeah. I feel like I should have my toy equivalent, which is my Hydra. The Hydra, yes. I do, yeah. We're talking about this in bonus content if yeah. I get around to putting it up. But um, you, you're looking for that Hydra daddy. I really did consider buying the big Hydra the last time. Uh, but I knew it wouldn't fit in my case because of the amount of comics I had. Yeah. Um, I have a question. Uh, uh-huh. Remember when you... Oh, sorry, hang on. Yeah, you with the fucking hair. What's up? Sorry, I forgot, I forgot to put my hand up. All right, that, that was my question. Um, mm-hmm. Thank you for entertaining it. Now back to our regularly scheduled show. <laughs> uh, yeah, we, we cut that question because it's um I don't know it's not that it wasn't appropriate. It was just not. Uh, I don't know why we cut it. Why why are we cutting it? Uh, because cut, I want it cut. Because some true feelings were spoken. Yeah. All right, that'll do. But like I said, if Hey Buddy because Nice it's podcast none your is, business. <laughs> if Hey Buddy Nice podcast is anything, it is about honesty. Yeah, let's go with that. Uh, I can't even remember what we were talking about. Hydra, because you, yeah, you yeah, Hydra in your case, big Hydra, um, mm-hmm. which we've talked about. Posted po- photos of the Hydra before. It's but just a little plushy Hydra because you love Hydra, Penn and Teller Hydra from Mars Singer. I do. I do. Mm. And this just it it coincidentally just looks so much it, like it. It's the exact same color scheme. It's it was freaky. I was so so happy when I seen it. Yeah. Uh, it's just how, so cute and so soft. How how much bigger is Daddy Hydra? At least twice the size. Hang on. I'm going to go get Hydra. Oh, gosh, Brogan leaving again. I guess that means. Hello, and welcome to the next episode of Murder Party Party Podcast. The podcast about the Murder Party Party pod- mm, murders. This is the a- special outtakes episode. And here's our first outtake for you. And then the party murderer. Oh, sorry. I said the wrong word. It was the Murder Party Party murderer, not the party murderer. <laughs> And that was our special bloopers episode of the per- par- murder party party mur- bloopers for fun. I love him. He does so look much. very fluffy. He really, really is. I mean, this. Oh, oh I God. saw some of them. Um, not, not. I, I don't think it was the exact, but I've seen some of those hydras recently at a store here. 
is so this is squishables. Oh, maybe it is. Squish or squishables. Oh, oh something is killing my ear. What is going on? <laughs> But yeah, so that's. I but yeah, I'll take a look. I'll take a photo of it next time I'm there, just to to show you. Yeah, because if uh, if I don't get it in Vegas and it's still in Australia, I will pay you for the shipping. Yeah. Oh well, no, <laughs> they were that size. They were those that that size. Oh, the, your, just your the little baby hydra. ones. Not not the not the daddy hydras. No, no. 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 Yeah. But yeah, I, think, I am very looking forward to getting that. I think someone. I, I think they paid me a compliment on the internet, but I'm not sure. Okay. To me, I think it was. At first, I was a bit put back, right? I was watching mm-hmm. watching the, the Jonah Vasquez stream. I can't remember when it, it was the drawing stream or a video game stream, whatever. Yeah. And I was mentioning something about drawing a comic. Yeah. And someone went and checked out my page, my Twitch channel. Yeah. And then they said, oh, lol, you look like, you look like Shawzy. Yeah. <laughs> From Letterkenny. <laughs> First reaction was like, motherfucker, Shawzy? Second reaction, hang on, that's Jared Kiso. You do look a bit like Shawzy. I am, I am perfectly fine with that comparison of Jared Kiso. Actually, my, my reaction was, well, stranger, how about we go run away together with that fine compliment? <laughs> and then I was like, wait, wait a second. They're saying that I'm Jared Kiso, not that they're Jared Kiso, so we won't run away together. If they were Jared Kiso, sure, mm. we'll, we'll run away, live together forever. And, um, yep, beautiful relationship. And I would only refer to him as Jared Kiso. Yeah, of course. So he'd be like, it would be a little bit awkward at first because he'd be like, hey, Wayne, what are you thinking about? And I'd be like, well, that's a little bit awkward because you play Wayne in Letterkenny and my name's Wayne, so that's a bit weird at first. But then I'd get over that pretty quickly, I hope. And I'd say, well, you know what, Jared Kiso, what I'm thinking about? At the moment, Jared Kiso, I'm thinking about how happy I am with our life together. And then he'll be like, you know, we're in a comfortable place. Being like that for a little while, you don't have to call me Jared Kiso anymore. You can just call me Jared. I'd be like, okay, Jared Kiso. I'll only call you Jared from now on, okay, Jared Kiso. Because I'll do anything you like, Jared Kiso. He's a two-name kind of person. To me, yeah. Yeah. I I just had a look and uh, the regular Hydra is not quite twice as big, but maybe about... Which nobody else can see except Wayne. Yeah. Maybe, maybe about that big. Would you say it's about 242 dicks? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to need you to come a little bit closer to the microphone because I can't hear you even. I just, I just have Hydra sitting there now. He's yes, yeah. Very you had, soft to, you had to back up to show me how big the Hydra is. The reason yeah. why 242 dicks is funny is because um, Joe Booth sent us a, a meme where it was um, Americans will use anything but the metric system. And it was a two by four that said 242 dicks on it. That was all. Oh, did we not explain that already? <laughs> no, we had not explained that already. We had just talked about it, and that was oh, it. Right. Yeah. Um, all right, but all right. Speaking of Joe Booth, maybe it's about time. Oh, no, no, it's not about time because I was talking about jo- uh, Jonah Vasquez stuff. So, mm-hmm. which I've been doing a fair few podcasts lately. Um, yeah. But this one is ugh, people. They they never get my name right. No. No. Nobody ever. Now, no. I I got a gift sub to Jonah Vasquez's Twitch stream right mm-hmm. um, a couple of weeks ago, and. Uh, started off straight away uh like the the whole thing with jonah vasquez is it's like he's always constantly negging the viewers okay (laughs) it's just like poking fun having fun basically yeah um like the the thing going on was saying like like, oh yeah your subscribers saying how like your bodies are going to mutate into horrible things whatever stuff like that right okay but from this gift sub, it's like, oh, such and such has gift subbed um, uh, Wayne Geo uh, for, for a month. But then he says, hang on, that doesn't say Wayne Geo. And like, it says something else. And like, he, I can't remember what he was saying that time, but it was like not even close. But then this time, I was watching him this today. He was playing Fortnite with his friend Rob, and mm-hmm. he had to step away from the computer, I assume, to pee. So yeah. I was like... Uh, Rob was like, quick, everyone, come over to my stream now. So I opened up Rob's stream on my computer, followed, and someone gave me a gift sub to that as well. Oh, cool. Uh, just as Jonah was getting back. And Rob's like, oh, nice. That's a gift sub to Wayne Geo. And Jonah's like, Wayne Geo? That's not his name. And like, oh, my God, I'm having flashbacks already. So I always thought it was Wayne Glow. And it was like, like some sort of product. I always thought he was trying to try, trying to sell us something. <laughs> and like, oh, my fucking God. And then, then I, I tried to spell it out phonetically. And um, 
it, the way I typed it, it it was not a way to be read as Wayne Geo. So I was just digging myself further into the fucking hole. Yeah. And Rob Rob as well was like, oh shit, sorry. I, I like legitimately think he was meant to be Wayne Glow. And he starts calling me Wayne Glow. I was like, no, no, it's G I O. Like Geo. And it's like, oh. Like Italian. Just, yeah. No, it's, there's there's no hope. I, I didn't dare say, look, I'm going for it by a shortened name on purpose to avoid this kind of issue. But it's just, it's, for, it's forever my, it's, yep, it's my You burden. can't win. No. You can't that, win. It, 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 I can't imagine what the world would be like if I could. <laughs> that, I, I think that it would be terrible for everyone and life as we know it would cease to exist. I mean, it's one of the things that I think will happen when we're at the churn is that your name will be said wrongly and at least i once. will be called anything but scottish every single at time. least once yeah every single time every single time every single time yeah. and I, I apologize now but i will be referring to you as something other than scottish <laughs> it's, it's not my fault it's peer pressure <laughs> <laughs> and i will be giving jacob the finger oh a lady that finger? sounds worse when i said it out loud uh, mm, yeah lady no, finger just, sounds even worse just flipping him off Okay, yeah, that doesn't sound great either, no, really, when you think about it. Telling him to fuck off. There you go. Using mime to tell him to fuck off. <laughs> uh, sign language. You're using sign language. Yeah. Let's, yeah, let's go with that. Because mime makes me think you're going to go full Billy the Mime on him, and that could get oh, right, quite yeah, graphic. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. Mm, nope. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Okay, so uh, we, 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 we were talking uh, 242 dicks. From Jobeth. Mm-hmm. We got something else from Jobeth as well. And he's yep. doing his due diligence as a uh, dear cheese bag. He's helping us keep our place as the number one license plate and bumper sticker podcast. Absolutely. Podcast. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, as always, is Scotland letting us down again? Absolutely. Mm. There's just nothing on these roads. I, it's got absolutely nothing to do with me forgetting to look for license plates number even plates. my mum even my mum said to me the other week i i can't help but keep an eye out now <laughs> because listening to the podcast i'm like oh do you ever see any yeah it's like well why don't you send them in <laughs> it's like oh uh don't no nah. it's like oh come on uh but uh the one that we've been uh had a cheese bag submission from Jobeth was uh, it came with a news story which I thought Ooh. we could click a link to but it wasn't actually a link, it was just a photo uh, mm. that this person's license plate was revoked Oh, so they had it approved, it was on their car and then revoked mm. one I don't know how I feel about that they live in the, the land of the free in America you can, you can take their health care but how dare you take their license plates yeah <laughs> i'm not sure what you're looking for there i i am looking at it right now oh uh, you're looking at the actual license plate yeah it, and... clear, it just says it, it just says love tofu yeah and you know what you know why i believe that's purely why like there's no ulterior meeting, meaning behind it it's because that guy looks have... like a fucking vegan <laughs> well no because two of the stickers next to it one of them says vegan and the other says tofu never screams <laughs> Yeah, there you go. <laughs> you know? So, the, the, it is love tofu. I think the argument is that it, it could be read as love to F you. Yeah. But then I'm like, I'm not, I don't like this article because, and look, I don't like the fact that this guy felt that he wanted to be a part of this article because knowing that people are reading this license plate as love to F you, mm-hmm. it's him kneeling down next to the license plate with like his two kids yeah there's a little something uh, a little bit skeezy looking about it which makes it look not like tofu and yeah makes it look a bit I, I, this is the reference i've got because it's been on the television today because because he's watching it. it looks a bit jared fogley it's jared there's that yeah i was going to say jared from yeah. subway who i only yeah. know thanks to the south park games yeah because <laughs> he had aids yeah yeah yeah, um, but yeah, but that that reminded me of something from my youth. Not not Jared, the <laughs> subway guy. Uh, this guy <laughs> with photo with the kids uh, is in like third or fourth grade, and um, community newspaper. Because uh, my dad like would coach my brother's cricket and that, and I think I was playing cricket as well. 
and they were like, oh, let's do an article on this, you know, cricket family or some bullshit. And it's community newspaper. It's like the free newspaper that you pick up when you're at the shops and like there's a mm-hmm. i mean for for those younger folk listening at home a newspaper used to come in a physical form it wasn't a thing <laughs> just on the internet uh yeah. it, it was it was yeah it was it was just for slaughtering trees really was yeah. was the main purpose because back back then early 90s there were too many trees on earth and um we were, we were getting too much oxygen <laughs> and we're thinking, you know what? No, nah, it's not. We have to. We have to bring this down a peg. Show these trees who's boss. Let's let's print some stupid article and story about some some guy who coaches children's cricket. Yep. Okay. And I I I have n- very little memory of what was going on. I don't even remember getting the photo taken for it. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I remember seeing it. And I don't know, have any idea what the article is actually about, but that, that's what that reminded me of. That was all. I yeah. think the only time I've been in a newspaper uh, was when I was born. Mm. I was in the newspaper because I was like the first. A, was it like you came from the from the fish and chip shop? They wrapped you up in newspaper <laughs> and sent you home. No, it was because I was the first baby born at that hospital when it became a trust hospital. What so... is a trust hospital? I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I don't Perfect. know. I know from the. <laughs> I know that mum has the article somewhere. I should probably dig out. Right. But yeah, it, it, see, you've got trust uh, uh, trust hospitals and distrust hospitals. I think I'd rather go to a trust. I waited until again. it was a trust hospital because it was from like midnight April first. Oh wow! And so, I was yep. late. I, I mm. was I was a late baby. And late? <laughs> no, <laughs> you... it must have been early. If it was the first one, then it must have been early. No, I was due April to be 1st. born on. Like the 23rd of March. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah. yeah. I was like two weeks late. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> height of laziness. I couldn't even be bothered breathing when I was born. God. <laughs> and these these blue. <laughs> these people want to force you to breathe. What is up? Like, let, let, let Brogan live Brogan's God. life. Well, you know, not necessarily live their life. But in that case, if they're not breathing. Uh, yeah. I like... God, you people <laughs> evict me and then want me to breathe on my own? Yeah. yeah. <sighs> they probably even gave you a smack as well at first. It's like... Ugh. Probably. Disgusting. Child abuse. Yeah. It's, it's terrible. <laughs> it's like, look, we took care of the tree problem, I think. I think yeah. next, we got to we got to crack down on doctors smacking yeah. kids. Mm-hmm. It's just not, not called for. No. Yeah. Never an excuse. <laughs> I mean, unless the kid's a prick or something, you know? Then it's like to... <laughs> yeah. Show, show him the back of your hand and then hit him with it. Doctor, doctor, my son's choking on something. I can't hit him. He's an yeah. arsehole. Give him here. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's the new, they're coming right for us. It's like, yeah. my kid's an arsehole. <laughs> uh, what are we talking about? We're talking about license plates. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I saw a couple. Um, remember remember that, that green Mazda 2 I told you about, the one that was Bulbasaur plates? Yes. I saw another one very similar. It was a yellow Mazda 2 and it said uh, Chocobo. Oh, cool. Chocobo. I Chocobo. thought that was... I, I like that one. Yeah, it was very reminiscent of a Chocobo. And then mm. then in the same day, within 20 minutes, probably less, I saw more or less the exact same license plate on two different cars. Oh. Yeah, so driving down the highway to work, I passed one, the plate was Moo Moo. M O O M O O O, right? Mm-hmm. Moo-moo. So it was Moo Moo. And then when I got to my parking lot, parked up, walking to elevator to get to where I needed to get, there was a car that was just Moo Moo. Oh. So that's creepy. missing the last extended O. So uh, that was weird. Uh, I that's found creepy. that strange. I thought there might have been like a glitch in the Matrix or something. <laughs> Like, which would have been cool, because I'd be like, oh, hey, Keanu, what's up? Yeah. Saw you at Keanu, Keanu. Fest. <laughs> I'm still gutted that that never happened, because obviously that was supposed to happen when COVID were we was talking still going. About, were we talking about that on recording? Was that, like, pre-recording? I don't I know don't, anymore. No, I think that was pre-recording. I think that was pre-recording, based on, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Anyway, Keanu Fest. <laughs> for, for context, uh, in 2019, I booked a holiday for june 2020 because apparently there's a thing in glasgow called keanu fest uh and i just missed it that year thought i'll book it for the next year uh and then uh the world went to shit mm, so yeah. that never happened they still sent me all like the extra goodies and stuff like they had a, oh. a zenith 
and all that shit that they already had. Yeah. Yeah. But did they give you a refund? They did. Oh, whoa. That's that's interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Refund and extra stuff. That's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. So you're still having stress dreams or you're continuing or you started having stress dreams because of me or what? They're not as bad. I mean, it's like once a week. But uh, so far, I've had more than one dream where my mom and dad's come to Vegas with us. I don't know why. That just sounds horrible. Uh, like, no I, offense to your parents, I just mean I think it would general. be horrible for them. I uh, mm. genuinely, my parents are not travel people. Um, yeah. But the one that really got me, and I can laugh about this now, is the fact that uh, I gave you a, I spoiled a gift for you by accident, and uh, and you know what? I think it was the whole Jacob Dropbox thing. I think mm, that's it yeah, was yeah. It, it was a mix of that. I accidentally spoiled it. You seen it, and I was like, "No, don't look at that. You're like too late. I've already seen it." And I was like, "Fuck!" He's like, yeah. "It looks weird, but thank you." Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, "Okay, cool." <sighs> you you my... seemed you seemed to like it. It was, it uh, was uh, that looks yeah. weird, but I do like it. You that's know, but I was counts. still like, "You know Girl. what? Now you're going to give me something, and that is going to be my response to no matter what it is. It looks weird, <laughs> but I like it." Oh my god! You know what? It's going to be the exact same thing I had in my dream because the thing I had in my dream is the thing that you're getting. Yeah. Yep. So uh, then I'll say I'll say that it's weird, but I like it. <sighs> yeah. Every, every night it's stress dreams. It's my life now. Mm-hmm. I I fucking blame Piff the Magic Dragon. <laughs> <laughs> thanks. Thanks. Who was that? Two characters and a clown. How good was that? Yeah, I haven't listened to that episode yet. I'm saving it for Monday for work. Even I don't know where I'm working. <laughs> uh, but no, last night I think the stress dream started off good because like, well, I don't know. It was, like you can see my TV there, yeah. That's that's yeah. a nice size TV. That's like a seventy-five inch. Kez, in dream, I believe, is watching Call uh, the Midwife. Uh, yeah, I reckon that's probably what yeah. it is. I'm quite good at guessing what Kez is watching yeah. in the background. Yeah. <laughs> um, but no. So the, in the dream, the TV was bigger, mm-hmm. but I had also smashed it or something. On purpose. Something hit it. No, no. Yeah. Like something hit the TV because this mm-hmm. actually did happen to my brother. He he oh. he had a new TV couple of weeks old mm-hmm. uh and it got smashed by accident uh that that was on a new year's eve Oof. day and uh we were meant to be because hang- we hang out we try to hang out every new year's eve so, oh i was gonna say what stopped it this year uh someone had covid uh, yeah <laughs> um but no and um I was, I was trying to get in contact with him throughout the day no answer getting closer to when meant to be coming over i was like i don't know what the fuck's going on hey john have you heard from ryan it's like no, don't know where he is. Uh, but no, he. Um, I think he had a friend over. They had a couple of drinks, and they mm. were mess- messing around with a. Um, wow, I just tried to censor myself from saying fuck. I. <laughs> that, that was very weird. They were fucking around with a, one of those breathalyzer things, right? At home okay. breathalyzers. So they got mm. a little mouthpiece that you put in, you blow into it, tells you how drunk you are. Because maybe they wanted yeah. to go get a pizza or something. I don't know. Yeah. Anyway, done that. And Ryan, he like throws the little nozzle away, but it bounced, hit the TV. And this is like a little <sighs> rubbery nozzle. Yeah. And yeah, broke it. Yikes. So he was like, well, fuck. And uh, he just got in his car and drove. <laughs> Yeah, to like hours away. Oh my god! Yeah, I mean that and- is. I fear doing that every time mm. I move my TV. I'm like, I'm terrified it's gonna break yeah. or something. Yeah. So this this stress dream was dealing with the broken television of mine, mm-hmm. which yeah, which in, in in the grand scheme of things, not not that bad of a stress dream. Um, yeah, <laughs> that's- that. That that stress dream. I, I I couldn't type out to you the one that I had to send a voice memo for. <laughs> you did, yeah. Oh man, that one! I definitely haven't talked about that, have I? No. I don't think you have. No, I don't think you Couldn't can have. talk about that one. Can I? Why? Is that not connected to the secret project? No, this was no. um traveling to Vegas. Oh, oh, that one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I don't There's think been I've a couple of stress dreams. Yeah. Listeners, so. <laughs> yeah. This this one, like the majority of my stress dreams were centered around um secret project, mm-hmm. but this one was uh actually. For some reason, you and I were traveling together to Vegas, yeah. And, and I don't, I don't know why, because that doesn't make any sense. We are in separate countries, clearly, mm-hmm. uh, opposite sides of the the globe. Some of you yeah. may say flat piece of paper. You're wrong. Uh, we get onto this plane now. It's not like a big jumbo seven four seven or nothing like that. It's mm-hmm. but it's also not a small light aircraft. It's sort of in between, right? Mm-hmm. Maybe maybe it was the size of like a private jet, I guess. 
Yeah. But yeah. Um, but we could see the pilots and we could talk to them as well. Uh, we get on the plane and just, it starts taxiing, but it's not just down a runway. For some reason, it's like back alleys behind buildings and stuff like that. And at one point, there's this like big stack of explosive barrels, like it's a fucking video game. And the pilot's <laughs> like, oh shit, those aren't meant to be there. It's like, screw, to hard, hard turn right. And it's like, he says to the co pilot, wow, we, we barely made it out of that one. Hey, Jeff. Or, you know, along those lines. <laughs> And then we were on clear runway. It's like, time to take off. So getting up to full speed, goes back, front wheels off the ground, back wheels are off. And then all of a sudden, we see that there is another plane coming down to land. So basically, collision imminent unless the pilot makes drastic moves. Mm -hmm. This is where the dream goes from first person to third person. So... Mm -hmm. I'm still experiencing it as us on the plane, but I'm seeing it all from a third-person camera, basically. Yeah. Like the, the plane from the outside. Mm -hmm. Our plane quickly goes down onto the tarmac and is still going full speed, but towards the end of the runway. Uh -huh. At the end of the runway, there's like... It wasn't, it wasn't a, a, an airplane hangar. It was like a fucking warehouse. Mm -hmm. And I think I, I didn't tell you about this part, but for some reason... Yeah, as we're approaching it, um, you know, in movies, how a plane goes like through a narrow space and the wings always get knocked off. Yep, that happened. <laughs> and then the plane smashes into the warehouse, bursts into flames like explosion. Yeah, right. Realistically, we should be dead. Yeah, but in this dream, we get off the plane. We're inside this warehouse. And the plane is on fire, and you're like. We should probably try and find a fire extinguisher or something. <laughs> and like, oh, look, there's one over there. So, <laughs> yeah, put the fire out, done. Believe it or not, none of that was the stressful part of the dream. Not at all. <laughs> the stressful part of the dream was like, we were flying with like American Airlines or something stupid like that. The stressful yeah. part was we went back to the airport, just off to the, si off to the side, inside the building. Mm -hmm. It's basically next to the warehouse where this explosive fireball just happened that should have killed us mm -hmm. we are livid right we're like yeah yes we were just in a plane crash but we're alive we need to fucking get to vegas you get us the next flight to vegas and they're like well we don't have another flight today it's it's like we probably can't even get you one tomorrow and it's like well you're gonna fucking find one it's another airline i don't care you're gonna do it and it's like no 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 so we're like fuck this so we're looking through on online looking for all these flights mm -hmm. and all these different airlines and we find one's like you you book this for us now because that accident wasn't our fault the your pilot's fault blah 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 mm -hmm. anyway it's getting all, all yelly and then we calm down for a bit then i turn to you and i say so the pilots, right, did they just, like, get out of the plane and run away or something after the crash? And you're like, no, no, uh, they died. They got they got crispified. <laughs> that sounds like something I would see. Yeah. And that was, the, that was the stressful part of the dream, was trying to get a new flight. Uh, that is, tra tra making, adjusting travel plans is the most stressful part. Yeah. Of, yeah. doesn't yeah. matter that you've been in a horrible, fiery crash. No. Yeah, horrible fire crash, no issue. I think no. I think I might have dreamed that because um, when we were recording, uh, gosh, not when past 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 us was recording. <laughs> no, it was just past past us. When past past us was recording the bank show for future us yeah. to play on the Tuesday, our first day in Vegas. Yeah, remember how I was saying? Well, we don't know. Maybe one of us will die. Yeah, so, I yeah. yeah. I, I reckon that might be what caught because that was that <laughs> night. I'm pretty sure that was maybe maybe I can't remember. That's yeah. probably when that dream was. But <sighs> crazy shit, the stupid dreams. Uh, <laughs> where are we at? I didn't start the timer, but we probably started around 20 minutes or at about an hour 20. So I don't know. Maybe we should start our game plan. I've got no idea how long we've been going for. I but think I we've been going for about an hour. Okay. Let's let's should, should we should maybe we won't bother with this then. Um, <laughs> save it for save it for the, a bank episode if we got yeah. time to do a bank episode at some point. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Um. But no, we're, we're going to play a game. But we we can save that for next time. Mm -hmm. Uh. That's okay. We got anything else that we want to talk about? Maybe just fill up a bit more time, just in case we can cut yeah. some stuff if we have to. Um. 
Oh, I had I, not a stress dream, but real life stress. Oh. Also related to airports. Mm-hmm. Uh, when I went to pick up Kez uh, the other oh, night yes. when she yeah. returned home. I don't know if mm-hmm. I told you about this or not. No, you didn't. Um, tracking the flight, right? Mm-hmm. Um, so I knew when when to go and pick her up, and it's like I was I was leaving it to a, a sensible time, mm-hmm. a, a time where I wouldn't have to stand around or anything like that, or park up somewhere and try and save money for short term parking. So I, I I had it down perfect, right? Yeah. And then uh, I look at the update and it says, "Oh no, we're about an extra ten minutes ahead of schedule." I'm like, "Well, shit, I should probably leave then." <laughs> so I go. <coughs> Approach my car, press my my unlock button, nothing. I'm like, oh, god damn it, the, my bloody key fob's battery's died or something. And I look at it and it's like, oh, no, the light is turning on when I push the button. My car battery was flat. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. I I see my, my car has a problem where the passenger side front door, uh, mm. the sensor's not working properly. So yeah. it keeps on thing is open. So I can't have the light turn on when yeah. the doors open. So I turn that off all the time. But yeah. I'd been out uh, at some point at night, the days prior, uh, and as I was going back inside, I must have had to turn on the car light interior for some reason, and I never turned it off. Oh shit! Like it was flat, flat. It wasn't even going when you turn the key. It was. D E D dead. So I I I I'm I'm go to cause cause his parents live in the big house. Mm-hmm. I was like, my car battery's flat, and they're like, huh? And I'm like, battery's flat on my car, and I need to go pick up Kez. I'm like, oh, now they've got a couple of cars. Yeah. I honestly thought the first response would be take one of these cars. Mm-hmm. Instead, the response was, well, gee, how are we gonna jumpstart your car? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, okay, if that's the route you want to go, um, just so you know, I'm probably already a little bit late because the flight has been picked up in speed or some shit and it's going to be a bit earlier. <laughs> and I'm like, uh, all right, we'll just push your car out and we can, so we can get to it and jump it. And I'm like, well, no, you can't put my car in because it's an automatic. You can't put it into neutral without getting like a screwdriver thing and unlocking the gearbox so it can move. So... so Kez's dad is trying to line up their small little tiny car next to my car so it's close enough for the jumper leads to... Uh, just just troublesome. Just troublesome. <laughs> I, I'm on the road maybe 20 minutes later than I'm meant to be. Mm-hmm. And then there's just fucking roadworks. It's of like course. 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock at night. And why, are they, why they're why doing these roadworks, I don't know. It is the way to the airport if you're coming from this direction and mm. like no sorry bro you're gonna have to go over that way for however long drive for 10 minutes turn around come back for 10 minutes just to get on the correct highway you need it's like mm-hmm. uh. but then uh as i'm approaching the airport i get a message from kez like yeah we've just landed it's like oh that's good handy so yeah real life stress i don't know it was better than the stress dreams i think less stressful yeah. really I've still got work stress. I, I'm I'm going to be yeah. logging in tomorrow to, to do stuff. Because Is it about I mean, this stuff that you have not spoken about on, on that you were not allowed to, that you were not allowed to speak about or other stuff? <laughs> uh, other stuff. That stuff has kind of been dealt with, but not really. Yeah. Okay. Uh, mm. But no, this is about, so every year we have to submit an AML certificate mm. for the Law Society. And it's essentially like, how much money do you get from this area of the business how many transactions do you have that's yeah. like buying a house over a million pounds that kind of thing like date yeah. and stats and stuff so i need to download reports like multiple reports put them together to pull out the right data and yeah. mess about with them but the problem is i've been trying to do this while people are emailing me stupid fucking questions like yep. can we accept this document can you let us like on this guy it's like no We've never accepted this document, and no, because there are no uh, documents on your fucking client. Uh, people, people, yeah, people are just, yeah. So yeah, I, I still, I wouldn't be working on my day off for that shit. It, the only reason I'm doing it is because it needs to be submitted by the end of April. So if I don't do, if I don't at least get up a, a good point by the end of the, uh, by Friday. By Friday, yeah. Yeah, then... I'm going to have to do all that work in three weeks. And it's not just pulling all the data stuff. I need to go out and ask partners mm. to clarify stuff, but I don't know what I need them to clarify until I've run those reports. Of course. Yeah. And of course, uh, nobody's going to do it for me while I'm off, because How why would they? dare 
birthday. Derek, I'm telling you now, buddy, I feel like this is your job, mate. They, 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 it was known that Brogan was going away. I know yeah. you're a listener. <laughs> is he? I don't know. I don't know. I've not told no. him the name of this podcast. That's probably a wise choice. But then again, yeah. if you do Google Brogan Hastings podcast, it does come up. I mean, you're saying that, but... I'm... Oh, you, I reckon if you search Brogan podcast, it will come up. Hang on, we're doing a quick search. Brogan podcast. No. The bro, the Grogan and Brogan podcast. Shout out. Oh, it's down there. It is on it is on the front page of Google, but it's down. Uh, not on my front page. It's quite... I'm getting... Did you put in Hastings or just Brogan? Just Brogan. It might be the second page on Google, but I don't know because it's just well, all like... It comes up with the first... If you put in Brogan Hastings podcast, it comes up everywhere. Yeah. Yep. Uh, I wonder if I put in my name. Let's see how disappointed I will be. Dr. Wayne W. Dyer podcast. Yep, that's not me. That's fine. The God Journey podcast. No, it's not. I checked it. It wasn't me. I like the fact that uh, some of the animatics come out come up on the the Google page when I search Broken oh, News yeah. Things podcast. Yeah. <laughs> Which, I mean, look, at this stage, it, it could just be called... We could just call this the Broken Hastings podcast, and I don't think <laughs> it would have any less listeners. <laughs> I don't know how many people I'm bringing in. <laughs> My friend of you. How many people am I bringing in? Uh, that's a good question. <laughs> all, all of them? <laughs> <laughs> Except my mum. I guess I got, I got my mum. That's going for me. Yeah. Yeah. And my uh, mum. Yeah. Because my mum listens for you. That, that That's all that matters. <laughs> and if you think that your mum would listen for me as well, why not suggest... Why why not try and... What do we call it again? The... the s- why, full circle. Try, the s- try to become full circle. Yeah. <laughs> suggest the podcast to your mum and then maybe one day she will like it so much she'll suggest it back to you Think not thinking that it was you who suggested it to you her in the first place yeah we're going to come up with a better name for that yeah because it's only full circle when it happens you've become full circle yeah it's, yeah. Yeah, it's we'll, we'll get there we'll think of something <laughs> but uh uh yeah t- tell your mom tell other people and have them tell you back uh mm-hmm. and uh yep at nice pod bud everywhere you know where to find us online on the internet um nice pod bud.com nice pod bud.com forward slash store buy stuff uh really i was gonna say send us letters you know emails and stuff but probably not the right time because this is our is this our last recording this is our last recording this session. is our last recording <laughs> session before we fuck off for a fair few weeks so yeah, yeah you can still write into us but we just might not get to it until we get back because um we're hoping to do some other types of podcasts and stuff rather than our usual scheduled um Things. Yes. Apart from the next episode you hear will will be a bank show. It will be past us. Yes. Uh, past past af- us. Past past us. And uh, after that, we don't know what we're gonna. Yeah. We, we don't, don't know, know what the schedule's gonna be like. We don't know what we're gonna yep. post. There will be content. But I'm bringing a laptop. I'm bringing a microphone. We have friends. I don't have room, yeah. I don't have room for a microphone. <laughs> That's fine. No, no, no. I think we're gonna try and we'll see what things. happens. Yeah. See what happens. Uh, I was going to say buy a cheap microphone as well, but who knows. <laughs> anyway. Um, but yeah, uh, that's just uh, admin at NicePodBud or, you know, just send us a direct message, DM us. That, that's easy enough. Uh, that's all i got to say. So uh, thanks for stopping by and having a listen. As always, stay fresh, cheese bags. Mm-hmm.